If you want to fiddle around with the colors on your PLR blog, that's all done in the style.css file. And if you're not familiar with CSS files, you might not want to go in there. Um, but if you have just even the most basic knowledge, I'm going to show you where everything is and cut your learning curve a little bit here. So what you want to do is log into your WordPress admin panel, go into Appearance, and then under that, Editor. And you're going to go down to the bottom here. You want to edit the style sheet, style.css. And in here is just where the whole styling of the blog is. So you can edit a lot more things than the color, but I'm just going to show you the color. Um, so up here, the very first thing, this is the background. This I usually have a darker background, and you just give it whatever color you want. Um, I wouldn't recommend playing around with the width or anything, because you can really get into trouble, because each thing that you change, you know, then you have to go change it in all the different elements of the page. It's a real pain in the butt. Um, this wrap, uh, this is the, well, this color right here is like what's behind the posts and the sidebar, that little, it's usually a very, very subtle light shade uh, right here. And then this, the border, is the border that's around the whole thing. Like here on here, it's a really light color, just about one pixel. And you can change the thickness of it and also change the color. And uh, you can change your hyperlinks. This would be the way they look when they're, um, you know, have been visited when or not visited. And then when you hover over the mouse, this is the color that they'll change to. The top nav bar is this thing up here where the date and everything is. The, um, and all you need to change is just this color, uh, you know, this, this one right here. A little bit further down is the, uh, nav bar, and that is, that is this main nav bar here. And that one's a little tricky. You've got to change the background here, and you've also got to change it um, right down here. Oops, not there. Uh, here. But also, when you hover over it, like on here, right, you can. I have uh, actually an image behind there. You can uh, change that. You don't have to have an image. If you just want it to be a solid color, just get rid of this part that's highlighted and just change the background color. Don't forget, if you do that, don't forget to add the semicolon afterwards. Um, and that's in two places, here and here. The next thing you're going to want to change is the um, header, this header right here. And that's a H3. And what I usually do is just do this find, and I search for H3. Now, it's not the header H3. It is the content H3 and you just change the background, and, and this color will change the letters. So right now it's got the green background with the white. You could change that to whatever you wanted. Um, you also probably want to change over on here this, and that is the eight sidebar H2. So I'm going to search for H2. Not content, though. Sidebar. And you're going to, you know, you can change the background, and you can change the color of the letters. And then finally the footer. Again, same thing. Change the background, and you can change the color of the letters, and you got to go through it because there's a... If you're changing the color of the letters, you got to change it here, here, and here. So that's it. You can also change the search form in the search box, which are these things right here. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's what you need to do to change all the coloring of the uh, blog. You know, there's plenty more things, like I said, to do in here, but you'd really only want to tackle that stuff if you knew a lot about CSS.